I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on fractions. We are learning how to represent fractions on number line. The question here is, represent minus 2 over 3, minus 1, 3 over 4, 0, 7 over 4, and 3 over 2 on number line, and then arrange them in descending order. So, let's make a number line first. We see that most of the numbers which we have are between minus 2 to 2, right? This is greater than 1. So between minus 2 to 2. So let's take uh, right in the center our origin. Right. Now there are a couple of ways to do it. The first way which I like you to concentrate on is taking common denominator and then arranging the numbers. Now the denominators are 3, 4 and 2. So we get common denominator of numbers 3, 4 and 2 is, is what? So is 12, right? So that is common denominator. We also call it LCM, right? So sometimes we also call lowest common denominator or we also say least common multiple, right? So in that case, that is multiple, which is, or we can say least common multiple, which is LCM. Well, a method to do LCM is, uh, there are many methods, you can write multiples and then do it, but there's a shortcut method, which is kind of like this. You could arrange the numbers, I mean, write the denominators, which are 3, 4, and 2 for us, right? So if I divide by 2, I get, I can't divide 3, so writing it as such, 4 goes 2 times, and 2 goes once. Now, if I multiply these numbers, that is 2 times 3 times 2, we get LCM, which is 12 for us, right? So that is how we take out LCM. So this is a good method to find. So first step here is to find common denominator and second step is to write equivalent fraction. Now equivalent fractions here will make sense if we change denominator to 12. So, so for the very first one it is minus 2 over 3. Three, they can be multiplied by 4. So we'll times this number by 4, both of them, to get 12 in the denominator. So we do get 12, 4 times 3, and 4 times 2 is 8. So we get the first number. For the next number, what should we do? Well, we should times that by 3, right? So if I times that by 3, I get minus 1, only the fraction part, uh, 9 over 12. Then 0 remains as 0, 7 over 4 times it by 3, so 3 times 7 is 21 over 12. And then the last one, which is 2 in the denominator, we have to times by 6, so we get 18 over 12. So this is more than 1, right? 1 and a half. So these are the numbers with equivalent fractions, we can say, right? Now, what we'll do here is we'll make 12 divisions for one division, right? So basically what we're trying to do now is divide like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that becomes 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that becomes 2. On the positive side, negative side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, right? So we get on both the sides and these numbers for us now are 1 and 2 on the right, minus 1 and minus 2 on the left. So now it's easy. Minus 8 over 12, so from here count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this number here becomes minus 8 over 12. 
minus 1, 9 over 12. So we go to minus 1 and then 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that is minus 1, 9 over 12. Now, third number is 0, which is here itself. And then we have 21 over 12. Now, 21 over 12 is, you could count 21 like right from the very beginning. Or 7 over 4 could also be written as, so we have 12 here, right? 24. So this number 2 basically is 24 over 12. Do you see that? 24 over 12 is 2. This is like 12 over 12. Is it okay? So 21 is, you can count backwards, 23, 22, 21. So that is 21 over 12. So purposely, I have not written as a mixed fraction as we did here, but we could go direct also as shown. Correct? So we have these numbers with us. Zero also, right? And now last is 3 over 2, which is 18 over 12. So 18 means this is 12 already. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So that is 18 over 12. Is it okay? So that is the next number, 18 over 12. So now we can arrange them in descending order once we have placed them all. So I, hope, so I hope the first step is clear where we have arranged all the numbers on number line. Now let us arrange them in descending order. Descending means decreasing, right? So descending order. So we have to write the highest number first. So in our case, the highest number is 21 over 12. Now 21 over 12 is same as 7 over 4, right? So we'll write both. First we'll write 21 over 12. And then it is 18 over 12. And then it is 0. And then it is minus 8 over 12. And then it is minus 1, 9 over 12, right? So these are the five numbers. Now, we'll write them as given to us. That is kind of important. So 21 over 12 was 7 over 4. So the answer is 7 over 4. The next 18 over 12 is the last number 3 over 2. 1 and a half, that is. And then we have 0. And then we have minus 1, 3 over 4. And the least number here, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, 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 this was the last number. I mean, we have minus 8 over, minus 8 over 12, which is minus 2 over 3. So minus 2 over 3. And the least number here is minus 1 over 9 over 12, which is same as minus 1, 3 over 4. Correct? So that is how you could actually write it in decreasing order. Correct? So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. Let me rewrite these numbers with their equivalent, which is minus 3 over 4. That is the least. And then 8 over 12 is minus 2 over 3. Then we add 0. So then we have 18 over 12, the last number, which is 3 over 2. And the number which is greatest in this series is 21 over 12 or 7 over 4. Correct? So that becomes the, the order. Descending means highest first and then the lowest, right? So it is, this is the highest number. And that is the lowest. Perfect. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comments and share your views and if you really like and subscribe to my videos that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.